-hmm. Well, last night in Chicago, the controversy over the immigration enforcement program called Secure Communities reached a dramatic standoff when six undocumented students were arrested protesting a meeting to discuss the program. Wearing T-shirts that said, undocumented and unafraid, the students joined about 300 people in walking out of the meeting. Once outside, they blocked an expressway on-ramp in an act of civil disobedience. Protests against secure communities were also held earlier this week in Houston, Boston, Miami, Atlanta and Charlotte. Under the Secure Communities Program, local law enforcement agents are required to share the fingerprints of people booked into local jails with federal immigration agents. The Obama administration credits the program with helping it achieve roughly one million deportations since 2008. In response to concerns that many of those deported are innocent or guilty of nonviolent crimes, such as driving without a license, the Department of Homeland Security has appointed a mix of advocates and lawmakers to a task force focused on reforming secure communities. It was members of this task force who met in Chicago last night and were greeted by hundreds of protesters. Joining us now by telephone from Chicago is Fanny Martinez. She's 23 years old. Uh, she's going to uh, be enrolling at the University of Chicago as a graduate student. She was one of the six undocumented students arrested at the meeting, just released a few hours before this broadcast. Fanny, welcome to Democracy Now! Can you talk about uh, why you are willing to get arrested as an undocumented student um, right now in trying to to make your point. What is your point right now? Um, hi, good morning. Uh, well, basically, the the statement was to um, make make uh, make it very clear that we are angry, that we are tired of having programs such as secure communities, and um, in reality, doing the civil disobedience, um, we knew that we were taking the risk of possibly getting arrested, but. Under programs like Secure Communities, we are running the risk every day anyway, so really this wasn't a big difference. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that our voices were heard and that people, more than anything, the community were aware of what communities meant. Because unfortunately, a lot of our, a lot of the, you know, members of the community don't understand the gravity of secure communities. And I think that we succeeded last night on, you know, you know uh, yesterday, making, um, making it clear, you know, how bad secure communities is and how it is disrupting our communities, um, deporting, you know, people, destroying uh, families. It's, it's very devastating. And uh, Fanny, could you tell us a little bit about your personal story? When did you come to the country and how? And, and I understand you're uh, married to uh, a, a soldier who is now serving in Afghanistan. Why have not you not been able to uh, legalize your situation here in the country? Yeah, uh, well, I came here nine years ago when I was 13, um, and I have been, well, you know, coming, going to school here. And uh, one of the things that, you know, well, of course, as a student, I have to drive, you know, five days a week, and I'm always concerned, you know, that I might get stopped by the police. And, of course, being arrested under secure communities and then possibly they put in deportation proceedings. Um, and to answer your question about my husband, um, yeah, we have been married for three years, and he is actually flying home. He uh, was in Afghanistan for a year. And uh, we, I haven't been able to fix my status yet. Uh, of course, you know, the immigration system in, in the U.S. is uh, inefficient. Uh, we all know that. And um, even though he is serving in the military, the, I, I didn't come with a visa. I came here um, crossing the border illegally. Um, so, you know, in order and, for and me and to Fanny, when you say you came, uh, your parents brought you, right? Or Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my father was forced to come to this country because he, you know, we, we come from a low-class family. So, of course, he, it was very difficult for him to find a stable job. So he had to it, – it wasn't a decision that my parents make. They were forced to immigrate to the U.S. And then they, they, they brought me and my, and my sister. And you came over the border. So yeah. last night uh, at the meeting, at the hearing, um, what do you feel should happen with this program? In a moment, we're going to have to debate on secure communities, the federal program. What do you think needs to happen with it? And what is going to happen to you? You're going to Uni University of Chicago in the fall? Yes, yes. What needs to happen with secure communities? Well, we basically want President Obama and Congress to terminate it because, um, yes, we know there's the new, this new task force trying to reform 
secure communities, but really it doesn't make us feel any safer. Um, we, as long as it exists, you know, people will always have that on their, on their minds, you know, on the back of their minds. Mm -hmm. Secure communities means, you know, um, deporting families, deporting people who are non-criminals, not having trust with the police. Uh, it's just, it, it has come to a point that, you know, the community doesn't have, you know, doesn't want to have anything to do with secure communities at all, whether it is reform or if it says the same. You know, we just want to get, you know, terminated, and we just basically ask President Obama to start deportations of people who are innocent. And, and your personal decision to come out publicly uh, and actually risk uh, uh, immediate deportation, could you talk about how you reached that decision and why? Yes. Uh, as I said, well, you know, in the undocumented youth movement, we have our say that we have learned to become, you know, well, we're undocumented, but we're also unafraid. Uh, and we have made it very clear that we're not going to just sit down and watch other, you know, our neighbors, our families, our friends getting deported, you know, on their programs such as secure communities. So for me, I think my, my frustrations and my anger are, are, are bigger than my fears. You know, I'm, I'm, I am willing to take the risk to make sure that we, uh, br br you know, we bring attention to this issue, which is right now we're dealing with secure communities. And uh, as I said, you know, it's, it's a point that we are very – angry, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of programs like that. Fanny Martinez, we want to thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Fanny is an undocumented student pursuing a graduate degree at the University of Chicago, one of six undocumented youth arrested last night outside the hearing on secure communities in Chicago. She was released this morning just before joining us on the broadcast. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, a debate on the program called Secure Communities. Stay with us. Good.